Petey Patch is here. Now we're going to get the milk from the fridge. Let's go. <laughs> I have not made most of them. They're just raw footage. All right, Petey. Ready? Yep. Now we're heating up the milk to 180 degrees to pasteurize and homogenize it. Um, that basically like binds the fat particles together and allows for like a thicker yogurt. Um, after we will cool it down to 110, um, that's like the ideal temperature for lactobacillus to grow. So for now, we'll just wait for this to heat up and get everything set up. So you want to keep the milk stirring periodically so it doesn't scorch on the bottom and scald. And we're just checking the temperature periodically and make sure it doesn't go over. But if you don't have a thermometer at home, you can kind of go by sight. Uh, once the milk starts steaming, um, then you can you can say it's pretty close to 180, getting there at least. Okay, it's at 130. We got some time to go. All right. So the milk has reached 180. We're gonna cool it down in a water bath in the sink. Over here. And we're waiting for it to cool down to 110 degrees. It's getting there. Be if you will picture. We got the milk to 110 degrees, um, and now we're going to add roughly two tablespoons of yogurt per half gallon, um, and basically that's about the right amount of yogurt you need for milk. Um, if you add too much, then the lactobacillus doesn't have enough room to grow, um, so you don't want to add any more than that. You could probably use a little bit less even, but um, that's just what I've been doing. So every like five batches, I'll use the powdered culture, um, which is basically pure lactobacillus. And um, from that, the yogurt comes out like really thick and creamy and not su super sour. Um, and then from there, I'll use yogurt for maybe another five batches as a starter. Um, but as time goes on and you continuously use the yogurt, uh, it gets a little bit more sour, doesn't be, isn't as thick, so you wanna like renew the cultures and um, go back to the powder every once in a while. Look on the lid to see the amount, and then I use that chart figure out how many jars I need. Alright, we got our yogurt and our milk, and now we just want to put it in jars and incubate it.
Alright, we got our milk in our jars and we're going to stick them in this incubator box for about six to eight hours. Um, I found that that amount of time is pretty ideal for the amount of uh, fermentation that you need to make yogurt. Um, but you can leave it in the fermentation box for up to like 24 hours and it's still fine. Um, just the longer you leave it, the more sour it's going to be. You want to keep it in that box just to try to maintain the temperature of 110 degrees um, for the next six hours or so. So the cultures can do their thing and it can thicken up and then we'll have awesome yogurt. Got the yogurt. It's been sitting in here for about six hours and it looks like it's pretty thick. So we're just gonna bring it over to the kitchen and it's ready to, to eat. I would consider yogurt to be a superfood. I try to eat it every day. Um, it's super high in calcium. It's got tons of probiotics, so it can in, improve your intestinal health. Um, a lot of people will take it after taking a round of antibiotics to refluorize their gut. Um, so yes, yeah, it's just all around really good. Um, and it's pretty versatile too. Um, you can take this same thing and strain it through a cheesecloth and make yogurt cheese. Um, you can preserve that in olive oil or eat it fresh. Hopefully this box looks great.